Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Fernbach. I'm an assistant professor at Pennington Biomedical and a circus arts instructor at GymFit. Today I'm gonna to show you some stretches you can do at home to help with too much sitting. So we're gonna start with some neck stretches. Um, so really basic, just standing up. You're gonna tilt your head to the right and to the left. And you'll alternate a few times just to get things warmed up. You can tilt your head down and look at the ground and up to look at the ceiling. And then you can also do neck rolls. So usually I'll start and just do the front and then just roll in the back. And then you can go all the way around in a big circle and switch directions. So you can do each of these a few times just to stretch out your neck. And then one that I do pretty often now to help with rolling your shoulders forward too much, either sitting on the couch or typing on your computer, is if you use a door frame and have your elbows at about a 90 degree angle, place your arms up against the sides of the door frame and step forward. This will help stretch out your pecs. And you wanna have your hips pushed forward and your head in a neutral position for this one. And you can hold it for about 30 seconds and then take a break and you can do this a couple times. All right, so we're gonna move out here. For this, you'll want either a counter or a high table. I'm gonna use our chair. You can also use like a bar stool, something like that. We're gonna stretch out our shoulders. So you're gonna place your arms on your surface and you're gonna drop your hips back and drop your head down to stretch out your shoulders and your back. And you wanna have about a 90 degree angle in your hips when you do this one. Some other stretches you can do for your arms. You're gonna reach across your body with a straight arm, grab either below or above your elbow, not on it, and pull in towards your body. And if you want, you can drop your shoulder a little bit for this one. And you'll do both sides of your body. And then you'll reach up and over your head, bend one elbow down and grab with your other arm. And then you're gonna pull down and in. And for this, you wanna lift your chin up to make sure you're not pushing your head too far forward. And you can alternate to the other side after you're good with that one. All right, so that's it for arms. We're gonna move to your quads. So you're gonna grab one foot, put your knees together in the front and try to push your hips forward for this one. If you need, you can find a spot on the floor and point to it to help you balance. Make sure you do both sides for this one. To stretch out our hip flexors and our calves, we're gonna do some lunges. So you wanna step forward and push your hips forward and down towards the ground and you should feel it right through here. And then if you flex your foot in the back really hard, you'll get a calf stretch as well. And for this, you wanna do both sides. Make sure you really feel it in the front of your hip. Next, we're gonna stand in a straddle you're gonna reach up and grab your elbows and you're gonna hang down nice and easy and just kind of relax into this straddle. And you can sway left and right if you'd like, or you can just hang down to the middle and relax your head. Then you're gonna put your hands on the floor to help you walk your feet in towards the middle. This is your pike stretch. You can grab your ankles and pull in by bending your elbows if you'd like or you can just hang down and try to touch your toes with your hands. From here, you're gonna squat down and sit on the ground in your butterfly stretch. For this one, I like to grab my ankles and push my knees down towards the floor with my elbows. And then you can also slide your feet out and try to relax down into your stretch. Next, you'll put your toes out in front. You're gonna keep one leg straight, the other one's gonna bend up and you're gonna put the outside of your ankle on top of your knee and lift that bottom leg up. And then you'll sit into that leg with your knee turned out. Then you're gonna switch legs. Again, one leg is straight. The other one, put your ankle bone on top of your knee. Turn your knee out. Pull your leg up and in and sit into you.
Just a couple more. We're going to do a seal stretch. So your toes are going to be behind you. And you're going to push up with your arms with straight elbows. This would stretch out your lower back. Bonus challenge if you could put your heels together in the back and lift your knees up off the floor. And then the last one we'll do is just rock back into child's pose and relax. And that's all for today. See you guys next time.